now joined by Nick Carter, who's Marketing Director of Cobham Wireless. Nick, good to see you. Good to see you. Now, tell us, how has the mobile industry changed over the last 12 months from your perspective? Okay, so quite a lot has changed over the last 12 months. The really big one from our point of view is that 5G has moved from being a demonstration activity or a marketing activity to being a real commercial deployment activity. So what we've seen is we have customers who are really interested now in taking and deploying our 5G product to actually develop the first 5G standards. And on digital DAS, what we've seen is the take up of uh, digital DAS which addresses the capacity and resource management needs of deployments in addition to the historic coverage requirements. And that is something that we were predicting would happen last year. So how is Cobham addressing the changes in connectivity and data demand? Aside from providing the 5G product that I mentioned earlier, we're also providing some of the key enabling technology which will be required for 5G but can be deployed today with LTE technology. So as an example of that, uh, we have dual connectivity. So we have the ability to be able to deploy dual connectivity capability today which will ultimately enable users to switch seamlessly between the 5G and 4G when the first 5G hotspots are deployed. So what else is new from Cobham Wireless this year? In the NFV space, we have customers who are interested in NFV service validation, who are interested in our implementation of the, the world's first Etsy Mano standard. So we've managed to put together uh, a orchestration system that is compliant to the Etsy Mano standards that allows our customers to then seamlessly integrate and test their product actually operates as they expect using our data generation traffic capability. Nick, thank you very much. You're welcome.